Hello and welcome to Vital Truth. This is a day the Lord's made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm going to be reading some scripture today in uh, Jeremiah chapter 6, verse uh, 16 and 17. Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein. And ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. Verse 17. Also I set a watchman over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not hearken. Now folks, uh, in Matthew and Luke, Jesus talked about the end times. Luke chapter 17, Matthew uh, 24. He talked about how the beginning of sorrows would come about. Earthquakes, famines, pestilence. And uh, if this is not that time, then I don't know when it would be. Earthquakes in every direction. Uh, famine, they're predicting a giant shortage on food. Pestilence. I was in pest control for a few years and I seen more pests than I had all the rest of my life. There's things are happening today, folks. And I guess what I'm trying to do is warn people and tell them that they need to know Jesus. Now, you can prepare for the body to sustain it, but what about your soul? What about eternity? And it's very important to take care of the outer man, but it's more important to take care of the inner man, the soul. Jesus said if we gain the whole world and lose our soul, what have we gained? Or what would we give in exchange for our soul? Now, people will not hearken, just like as it was in the days of Noah. They were eating, drinking, marrying, giving in marriage, building, and Luke talked about it, 17th chapter of Luke, building. Uh, there's more construction going on than I've ever seen. And uh, people is not aware of what's going on. Maybe it's starting to dawn on people now that things are starting to happen. Uh, fallouts, uh, all kinds of chemical spills, all kinds of uh, nuclear problems that we're having in the world. And so it's right now is the best time to get on speaking terms with the Lord Jesus Christ. Know Him. Does He know you? Are you obeying the voice of the Lord? He said, My sheep know my voice. They obey me. And right now, today, if you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, if you're not on speaking terms with Him, if you're not being led by the Holy Spirit, then it's high time right now to think about this, folks. Because time is running out. We don't know the day or the hour the Lord will return. But He said He'd come as a thief in the night. And we need to be prepared. Yes, it's okay to lay back food and water. It's okay to get prepared for the body. But listen, most important is Jesus. He will take care of us. If we go to the grave, then we know that we're going to be present with the Lord. Paul said to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And a lot of people say, well, I don't believe in any of this. I don't even believe in God. Well, you're in the Bible. If you don't, if you say in your heart there is no God, then you're already in the Scriptures. Go, go there and read it. You're in there. So it's no time to play games with your soul. If you are in doubt about where you stand with God right now, Jesus Christ, then you need to think about it. Seek Him while He's available. A day's coming when you'll call on Him and He won't hear you. The Bible tells us that the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and His ears are open to a cry, but His face is against them that does evil. And you say, well, I got saved so many years ago. I, I'm, I'm born again. Well, if you're turned to James right now, I want to show you something here, what James had to say about uh, uh, salvation and uh, backsliders. James chapter 5, verse 19. Brethren, he's talking to the brethren, if any of you do err from the truth and one convert him, let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. You know, the Bible teaches us, the Scripture teaches us, there's a way that seems right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. 
And only them that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So if you're not being led by the Spirit, if you're going on past experiences, folks, it may not cut it. It may not work out. You may come up short. You may miss the mark. you got to know Jesus, folks. And right now, the times we're living in, all the problems that's just whirling around us, we need to consider God and say, well, I think I'm all right. You better know you're all right, folks. If you think you're all right, they, that may not work out. But we got to know that we know Jesus Christ. we got to be following Him and obeying His voice, not the voice of man. And yes, read your Scriptures, but listen for the voice of the Lord. He's talking, trying to talk to people today. He's trying to talk. The grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God. He's coming back, folks. Christ is coming back in power and great glory. And He's coming for them that's made themselves ready, that's without spot nor wrinkle, that is shun sin and is holding on to Jesus Christ, following Him, being a doer of what He says. Them's the ones that He's coming back together in. We're His jewels. And it don't matter what other people say about you or I. What does God say about us? People will condemn you. They'll put you down. They'll tell you everything's alright. But what does Jesus say? There is a way that seems right unto men. But the end thereof are the ways of death. I want to be sure that my calling and election is sure. I want to know that Jesus knows me and I know Him and I'm on speaking terms with Him. Today is the day of salvation. If you hear His voice, don't harden your heart. Fall on your knees before God. Come to God with an honest heart. You say, well, I prayed, but He never hears me. He hears you. But your sins and your iniquities have separated between you and your God. Sin separates us from God. God is a heart God, folks. God is not playing games with people. He's dead serious about what's going on. And He wants us to have life and have it more abundantly. So today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, fall on your face before God and repent of your sins. Invite Him into your heart. Tell Him, Lord, I don't know You, but I want to know You. Lord, I don't want to just know about You. I want to know You in an intimate way. I want to know that I know. And then you know what? If you're seeking... You'll find Him. If you knock, the door will be open. If you ask, it shall be given unto you. But if you never ask, if you never inquire, then the face of the Lord is totally against you. But if you come to Him with a broken heart and a contract spirit, godly sorrow worketh repentance not to be repented of, but worldly sorrow worketh death. If, you, if you're sorry you got caught up, that don't cut it, folks. you got to be godly sorry. you got to be sorry that you've sinned against God. Then, then, Jesus will come into your heart and fill you with the Spirit and He'll accept you. You can't get bad enough that God won't accept you. So today, call upon the name of the Lord that you may be saved. Have a good day. May Jesus bless you.